Let's factor the equation x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. And we'll use these steps here to guide our work. First step, we're going to set up a skeleton equation. That's going to look like this right here. So now we can look at the signs. We have a positive and then a negative. So if the last term's negative, we're going to put positive here and negative here. Now we just need to figure out what to put after those signs. So we're going to find the factors for the last term. And they should add up to equal the middle term. So the last term's negative 12. Let's just work with 12. We could have 1 times 12. We could have 2 times 6. Or we could have 3 times 4. Those are the factors. So some combination of these. We could try 1 and 12, but it's pretty clear that's not going to give us the 4x. 2 and 6, that might work. How about we put the 2 here and the 6 here? The problem is that we'd have 2 times x and x times negative 6. That would give us a negative 4. So let's switch them. So we'd have 6x and then x times the negative 2. That would give us a positive 4. So let's check this with the FOIL method. We'll multiply the first terms. That's x times x. x squared. The outside terms. x times negative 2. That's negative 2x. Inside. That's 6x. And the last terms. 6 times negative 2. That's negative 12. That should equal 0. These are similar. And we can combine them. So we end up with x squared plus negative 2x plus 6x, that's just 4x, minus 12 equals 0. And this is the same as we started with. That means we've done this part here correctly. Let's take a quick look at what values of x, if we put them into the equation here, will make this side 0, make it 0 equals 0, a true statement. So we could say x plus 6 equals 0, add negative 6 to both sides, x equals a negative 6. Over here, x minus 2 equals 0. So we add 2 to both sides. x equals a positive 2. So what this means is if we put negative 6 in for x, and we do the math, this whole side here, it's going to equal 0. Likewise, we could put 2 in for x, do the math, it would equal 0. So these are the roots for the equation x squared plus 4x minus 12. If you use the quadratic equation, you can get the same answer. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. Thanks for watching.